This patient has mild atrophic rolling acne scars. And what I first do is subsides using a cannula. A recent study showed that using the cannula gave better results, less downtime, and was safer than using a no car needle. So what you see is me breaking up the scar bands between the skin and the deeper tissues and then injecting a little bit of lidocaine. Dr. Davin Lim has shown that these scars do penetrate into the fatty layer and the subcutaneous layer. On the initial side, you saw that there was a lot of scar bands, but on this side, there is a lot less. I also put a little bit of lidocaine in there because the next step is doing the genius on these scars. I then move to the forehead and I subsize those scars as well. I now subsize almost all patients prior to doing the infinity or genius because radiofrequency has a tendency to travel down collagen. And if you don't break up these scar bands, then the radiofrequency is going to travel deep into the tissues in areas that you don't want it to travel. What you see right here is the Genius RF microneedling device. I performed the FDA trials on this. I used to use the Infini, and then we re-engineered it to create the Genius. It has impedance feedback so that it measures the resistance in the skin tissue and delivers energy according to that. It is much safer. It's quicker and more comfortable to the patient. Results will be better too. When we complete the genius, we put the patient under the he light, which is a low level laser light, which improves the healing time, decreases the redness, and decreases the heat associated with the procedure. The patient sometimes comes in for a second treatment of this.